if france don't win the euros it's a toss up honestly just give it to anyone or maybe they'll just give it to messi again so if if dortmund do win the champions league who's going to win the ballon d'or mm-hmm. what, what do you guys think who's going to because the mbappe is gone and i don't i don't think he has done anything bellingham is gone and uh, and i think who's the other team like is gone Harry, as in gone as in like so from from the contender list right for for the ballon d'or no, no i mean the euros ballon d'or it's going to be influenced by the euros what what happens mm-hmm. in that Okay. So, I feel but, but like what we going for? I mean, what we going for? Like, no, I, because I, my I was thinking it's it's between Bellingham or Mbappe or or maybe Harry Kane, hmm. one of those three. Like, I mean, obviously, like Euros will play a part, definitely. I get that, but I'm just yeah. like wondering who who will be if Dortmund do win the Champions League and these guys are like you know they they're not there. I'm not sure. Like the thing who, is, Harry Kane, Harry Kane and Bellingham won't win it because England are not going to win the Euros, mm-hmm. and if they don't win the Champions League, they're just it's just not going to happen. So I would say if if Dortmund win it and uh, PSG go to the final, a very undeserved Mbappe victory is going to come because France will win the Euros. If France win the Euros, if France don't win the Euros, it's a toss-up. Honestly, just give it to anyone. You know, or maybe they'll just give it. Or maybe they'll just give it to Messi again. Just so you know, it's, it's good. <laughs> Let, let me let me tell you. Wins, wins the MLS with Inter Miami, and if he wins the yeah. Copa, the thing is he yeah. can't win the MLS with Inter Miami, bro. He just can't. Inter Miami is a garbage team. Sorry, they're top of the league right now. Garbage team. Something of that sort. Like, are they top of the league? Top of the league. Yeah. No, they're not. They are. I, I'm an Inter Miami fan. I don't even know what they're doing. Yeah, they're top, top of the league. league. They're top. They're top of the Eastern Conference. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Okay. Uh, still won't win. This is what. <laughs> But just oh, imagine the scenario, yeah. right? If, if they win, if, if if they win, and if Copa America, right? I think that that's happening this summer, summer as well. If if Argentina wins it, why? What is it to say that Messi won't win the Ballon d'Or one more time? Yeah, is <laughs> it not riding in the US to make Messi win the MLS too? Like yeah. they want Messi right. to win the MLS <laughs> on the map before the this thing. But it'd be hilarious, bro, if like Ballon d'Or is given to Messi. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this when like we're gonna Perfect. want to like actually talk to these fans who are still defending that. Then we will have we'll a one-hour. We'll bring Ayush on. We'll bring Ayush on to give us thoughts. We'll have a one-hour segment of just uh, the Prayag show. <laughs> <laughs> we the Prayag show feed Leo Messi, and there Prayag will be watching old Messi videos and ja- jacking off, I guess. Uh, but uh, no, dude, let's just let's just be real. If that happens, we all collectively should stop watching football. But I don't think not watch football to stop watching Ballon d'Or. Football has nothing to do with this. Uh, I doubt that's gonna happen. If I have to pick someone for Ballon d'Or, it's probably uh, going to be Mbappe because I feel like they're going to be strong in the in the Euros. If Real yeah. Madrid win the Champions League, I think it'll be a really hard argument not to give to Bellingham because they'll push. But if Brazil win the Copa America, why and, not? Vinny? And if Bayern wins, maybe Musiala is also. Musiala and Germany could needs be one. If if he really contributes to like if he. Yeah, even the Euros, right? So that is also possible. Yeah, I think Vinny is very. It, it, everyone in that Real Madrid squad acknowledges that like uh, Bellingham is their alpha. Like, I think hmm. they have that like. Who have you spoken to? <laughs> no, dude, like, like, he, he's on the pens, right? Like he's on the pens. He's like playing almost like a second striker. Like he, it's his team. Like and everyone's playing around him. So I don't know. I don't know if they're. Wait, he has to have that performance with England as well because that's. I mean, yeah, I think there is a very wait. high likelihood because England are he, the good. He's also charismatic <laughs> that way. Yeah, yeah. So Who knows? Dude, like, if, out. I I feel like England have like second or the third best chances odds to win the Euros and. If he has a deep run, like you can't deny the argument that like Bellingham. Yeah, I, I think the talent will oversee, like supersede Southgate. Like even though he's shit, <laughs> the amount of talent that they have is yeah. uh, is just going to get it over mm-hmm. the line. I mean, all of those players are playing for like insanely top teams, like and under insanely good managers, like Ford and sure. Saka, like everyone but Mainu in that Kobe squad. Kobe Mainu. <laughs> everyone <laughs> who's playing top managers. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how much. I I agree. I think talent will supersede the era aura of Southgate, and we'll see. Who's who's it. the player in Dortmund? There's a British player, right? The English player in Dortmund. Sancho. Uh, Sancho. Right? Uh, Not Sancho. Uh, there's yeah. someone else. 